Okay, so which one is better, the Borbul or the Avamai? Unlike any other video that you will watch on YouTube about these two breeds, we actually own those two breeds. So we are talking here by experience. If you really want to know the difference between the Borbul and the Alabai, not some random stuff that people throw up uh, on, on YouTube about this breed that they search online, we actually own those two breeds. So make sure to, you watch till the end if you really want to know the difference between the Borbul and the Alabai. Okay, so first difference is where they came from. The Central Asia Shepherd, aka Alabai, came, as the name implies, from Central Asia, while the Borbo, aka South African Mastiff, come from uh, South Africa, as the name implies. So, difference number two, the size. There are quite few differences in size between these two dogs. In terms of height, the Alabai uh, usually have 80 to 90 centimeters at the, the, at the shoulder uh, and around a male around 100 kilograms. Uh, they are very big and powerful dogs. The Burble is also very powerful and big dog, however, they are not as big as a, uh, an alibi. A Burble will have a Burble male around 66 centimeters and between 70 and 90 kilograms. Okay, so they are difference here. If, if we really want a big, 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 big dog, the alibi will win this category. Now, in terms of health, who will win this category? An alibi or a burbo? So, a burbo uh, is a healthy, is a very healthy dog. They usually live between 10 and 12 years of age, which is very, very good for a big dog. But the alibi is uh, another level in terms of health. This is the one of the healthiest breeds I ever own. The alibi is a primitive uh, breed and they have absolutely no issue in terms of health, almost no issue. These dogs can live up to 16 years of age. So, for a dog that big, it's something very, very extremely rare, okay? So, in this category between the alibi and the Borbo, the alibi will win. Now, let's dive into the temperament of these two dogs. What are the main differences? So, as a guard dog, which one is better, the alibi or the Borbo? The Borbo is an extremely effective guard dog. They are highly territorial and they are very, very, very good guard dogs. However, they are uh, a little bit dependent of the owner, okay? And they are not they are a very confident breed, but they are not just as confident as an alibi. An alibi is a very independent breed. As a guard dog, this dog is one of the best guard dogs in the world. You can leave an alibi alone in your farm and they will handle everything. Okay, so in this category, the alibi will win also. Okay, so I believe we are 3 deal now. Okay. Now, as a protection dog, which one is better, the Borbul or the Alibi? Uh, the Alibi is a very good protection dog. However, they are very independent and they are uh, difficult to handle. So, uh, I believe in terms of protection dog, the Borbul is one of the best protection dogs that I ever own. So, the Borbul will win this category. The Borbul is very attached to the families, which makes them a very highly effective protection dog. So, in this category, the Borbul will win. Okay, so now in terms of trainability, which one is better? If you want to train your dog, if you want to handle easier your dog, a Borbul is superior in terms of trainability. A Borbul can do very, very, very well at this task. They are a very dedicated dog to the family, to the owner, so they are better in terms of trainability than the alibi. The alibi is very hard to train. Um, of course, it's possible. We have uh, we have alibis trained, but they are, because they are so independent, they are very much harder to work than the verbal. So in this category, the verbal will win. Now, as a family dog, so you are a family and you have kids and you want to decide which one is the better family dog, the Burble or the Alibi. Again, because the Alibi is so independent, uh, the Burble is really, really better at this task than the Alibi, because the Burble will, will, were actually bred to do exactly that. In the past, uh, South African farmers will leave their farm and, we, and leave burbles to protect inside the house their family uh, from wild animals and intruders. So the burbo is very, very a breed that is very attached to their owners. So uh, and they are extremely good with kids. So if you have a family with kids and you you are thinking about the burbo or the alibi, the alibi can be a great family dog also. But the the burbo is superior. 
Now, dog friendly. So you are a family, you have other dogs. So which one is better with other dogs? Basically, if they are the same sex, none of these breeds uh, wa wa uh, is actually a good breed to be around other dogs, okay? But uh, we need to compare. This is a versus video. So if comparing the Borbo versus the Alibi, the Borbo will win again because they are a bit, bit uh, dog friendly than the Alibi. The Alibi can be quite dominant uh, and very aggressive with other dogs, especially same gender. We have we have here couples like female and, and males and they are in the same kennel and even male and females they tend to fight quite a lot. Okay, nothing severe of course but they tend to fight. So uh, in terms of dog friendly the Borbo will win again this category. Now let's say you have an apartment. Which one is better to live in an apartment? An alibi or a Borbo? Well, none of these breeds are good <laughs> to live in an apartment. They are they are breeds that are, are active, that need some space, and uh, the Borbo hate to be left alone. So uh, both are very, very bad in terms of apartments. But I will need to choose one. I, I will choose the Borbo because it's simply easier to groom, and don't have, uh, don't need that much space than an alibi. Alibi really needs... Alibi is not an apartment dog. Alibi is really a farm dog. Okay, so in, in this category, if you have an apartment and you really, really insist on having one of these two breeds, which I don't recommend, I believe these two breeds need some space, but if you have an apartment and really, really want one of these breeds and I and I cannot do anything about it, choose the Borbo. Okay, the alibi is a disaster in, a, in an apartment. Okay, so let's say you have a job, a very demanding job, where you are outside your house for several hours, like 8, 10, 12 hours a day. You want to, you want a dog that can be left alone and don't become destructive, okay? So which one is better, the alibi or the Borbo? So let's talk first about the Borbo. The Borbo is a dog that is very attached to their family, so they really hate to be left alone. If you leave a Borbo alone too much time, when you, when you, when you arrive home, your home will not be the same it will have a completely new decoration, okay? The Borbo can be quite destructive when be, when left alone, okay? The Alibi, on the other hand, because the Alibi is very independent, if you have a large home and you want to leave your Alibi alone for, for several hours, that's completely fine. They are very independent, so they will not suffer as much as the Borbo. So the Alibi will win this category if you are a person that are not, uh, are not home uh, that often. Okay. okay, so now conclusion. Which one is better? The Alibi or the Burble? I don't even count uh, which one won the most, uh, the most of the categories, but that don't really matter. There is no better dog. The Burble is not better than the Alibi or the Alibi is better than the Burble. It will depend on your lifestyle, on what are you looking for, okay? For example, if you are a family with kids and you really want a family dog to be around them, to, to stay close to your family, the Borbo is a better dog. But if you have a farm uh, and you can have a family also, but you really want the dog to have some distance from you to just do that guard work, uh, then the alibi is better. So it's completely up to you. There are no better dogs here. It's just, they are just dogs that are better for specific uh, clients and other dogs that are better for other situations. Okay, so hope you like this video. Make sure you watch more videos from our channel. I believe you will enjoy. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button and speak soon. Bye.